you know, I'm going to add just research wealthy people, research the rich. Not one rich or wealthy person has ever made sustained wealth off of the money that they generated. It's the money they generated put into an investment. Warren Buffett, what does he do? He invests. Yeah. He is, and that's all he does is invest. Yeah. Literally, that's all he does. That's all he does is invest. Yeah. Literally, that's all he does. And so, so if you think about it, it's just continuing investment. I was just listening to something about uh, why Warren Buffett just recently finally bought Apple stock and why he finally got involved with Apple. He didn't do it for many years because he thought it was an overpriced stock. And, and even the smartest investor on earth, he, mi he missed something, why Apple is so powerful. And mm. when it was explained to him and he really researched, he figured it out. You know what, what it is? Apple has passive income, iTunes. Yeah. They make so much money with iTunes. It's passive. Mm -hmm. It's that it's that gym membership that just keeps on repeating. You don't even realize that you're even paying for iTunes. It's, I don't know, 11 bucks a month, 15 bucks yes. a month, whatever. Yes. But you get a million people that do that. You get 10 million people that do that. Yeah. That's a pretty good money maker right there. For and sure. so he saw the passive income that was coming in through Apple and then jumped on that Apple stock is now a big investor with Apple. So true. So true. What great nuggets you are dropping, Mario. I appreciate you, but I uh, really, really, really let's get into, I hope our audience is still with us. We're going to talk about, you know, let's talk about happiness and let's talk about body, soul, and mind. Uh, if you don't mind, you know, sure. well, yeah. Okay, we're talking all about wealth building and, and, and it's, you know, it's all great. It's all important, all that, but it is not the most important. That's for sure. And what I'm saying by that is that not, not one of these things is the most important. They're all equally important. Mm -hmm. And if you view life as a pie, you have different slices of the pie. Yep. And wealth is one slice of the pie. Happiness is another slice of the pie. Health is another slice of the pie. Mm -hmm. What is wealth? So you have a billion dollars, but you're dying. Yeah. Doesn't do anything for you, right? Totally. totally. So you have a billion dollars and you're unhappy. Still yeah. doesn't do anything for you, you know? And so you have to make sure that that pie or that wheel, you know, they say you, you don't want that wheel to be unbalanced going down the road. You want it nicely balanced. And so, mm -hmm. you know, health and wealth and happiness. And I say soul because that's the, that's the, the ultimate test of the happiness is like, can you look yourself in the mirror? Can you go to sleep at night knowing that what you're doing is good? Knowing that you're actually, you're not, you're not just staying neutral. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you see somebody get assaulted and you don't do anything about it. That's staying neutral. Mm -hmm. Being a good person, being good in your soul is you, you see, you know, an, a, an old lady, you know, drop her groceries on the ground. You, you help her pick them up, right? You see that somebody's having a bad day. You give them a smile. You say something yeah. positive to them. That now feeds your soul, right? And so I'm going to go back to my mentor, Tony Robbins, when he talks about when he coached, you know, some of the most successful people in the world, some of the biggest billionaires and so on and so forth, you know, and they had drug problems and they had depression problems. They had all these problems. And what he taught them was, is that you're so focused on wealth building. You're so focused on these other things. You have not given any thought to fulfillment. And the only source of true fulfillment is by giving. You have to give something, either money, time, love, appreciation, attention, something you have to give. And it's, again, we don't need to make it so big and, and grandiose, but if you, if, if it's like a reminder, like these things that you should just do every day, like focus on a little bit more wealth building, focus on some passive income, focus on my health, maybe drink some water instead of drinking the soda. So don't get overwhelmed by it. It's a little bit every single day. And if you can think about, okay, so what do I do to feed my soul then? I'm feeding my body nutrients. I'm feeding, you know, my my bank account nutrients, which, which yeah. is with, with the income. What do I do to feed my soul? Just be smile, even if you're not happy. Yeah. So here's a here's a study that was done, gosh, man, I think 30 years ago now. It's a huge study. You can Google it. It was done at UC Berkeley of all places, and it was done in, in the um, psychiatric department. Mm -hmm. And based on, they did a, a, a double blind peer review study to see how uh, these different pharmaceuticals were affecting people's moods mm -hmm. and clinical depression, they called it clinical, right? 
And so these people were clinically depressed people and they took some people and they gave them sugar pills and some people they gave them drugs and some people they put in front of a mirror and they had them smile. Wow, wow. Okay? So you know what they found out? The people that smiled were at or above the people that were given the drugs. Oh my gosh. As far as happiness goes. So, okay, so let's back that up and see why does it work. So our body, our body, we have a body, we, we, we have a physical to a brain connection. We all know that. Dr. Deepak Chopra, your mm -hmm. long lost cousin. Sure. <laughs> right, right, right. Another Chopra in it. the family. Yeah, yeah, uh, not in the family, sorry. I, we might be related, <laughs> Mario. I don't want to disclaim that. But Deepak Chopra and Priyanka Chopra, hold on. Yeah. Jonas, you know, wife. I mean, yeah. and then Vinod Chopra or Vinny Chopra. Hey, three Chopras hey, here. Hey. I say. <laughs> The Chopras are doing, they're, they're, they're good people. <laughs> what can I say? No, so he talks about the the, the, the brain-body connection. And we know that. We, we prick our finger with the pen, we feel it. Our brain is the one who, who who's telling us. Our brain is what runs our heart, our lungs, everything, right? Yep. So we know that we have this connection. So when we're happy, when we're happy, we smile, right? So, but we have to feel happy to smile first. But what if we reverse that and we made ourselves smile it's going to send a reaction to our brain saying, hey, why are they smiling for? We must be happy. And it's mm -hmm. going to fire off the hormones that are mm -hmm. responsible for happiness, right? Dopamine and serotonin and these other hormones. And so the thing is, is, is you're just, it's kind of like algebra. You're kind of, you're, you're reversing it. You're working your way into it. It's like if, if you're tired, you're tired. The last thing you want to do is move. Yeah. But it's the thing that you should do if you're tired. Exactly. Breathe deep, get oxygen and move a little bit. And then you realize like, hey, I'm not tired anymore. But it, it's these it's these little things that are so simple to do, but yet they elude so many people. And it's these it's the consistency of doing these little things. And so when you can focus on feeding the soul as well, everything in life so, somehow is just going to get easier. Right. I mean, look. Look at you, Vinny. Your your nickname is Smile. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it, it's no wonder Vinny's attracted so much wealth into his life because of this. Because you smile and you 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 elude happiness, and it makes other people happy by you eluding happiness. You know, I it's why I love to be around you, Vinny. I appreciate that. I get, I get charged. Being around I have you. to really say gratitude. To my parents, to be truthful, my mom and dad, they are no longer, you know, they uh, they passed away. But my name, Vinod, V-I-N-O-D, real name, means happiness in my language. In Hindi language, Vinod means happiness, which I came to know later on. And lo and behold, when I came to USA 45, 46 years back, Mario, they I was smiling somehow or something. They took my middle name out, Kumar, and put smile in there. So for 45 years, I've been trying to live, live up to my name and my smile. <laughs> so you just did the same thing of the study that I'm talking about, right? Your name was smile, so you had to smile. You basically force yourself to smile, then you realize that you feel good by smiling, and it just all goes along, right? It's an amazing you know, thing. This is so wonderful, so wonderful. And, you know, I really believe, I know you are a very positive person. I am too. I really believe, I think anybody listening or watching us, please, please, please try. Look into your life. You know, the thing is, if you are happy, great. If you are sad, okay. But then you got to smile. So after this one, I hope you will be really smiling and just, you know, try to put a little smile, even though you are frowning. But the thing is now, literally, people tell me, they say, Vinny, can you frown? I cannot. My muscles have gone other way around. It is so hard for me to frown, literally. I mean, I, I might just try my best, but I cannot do it anymore. Oh, my gosh. I love that. It's like reverse atrophy for you. It is. It is. Oh my gosh. I love it. I mean, it. when I'm not smiling, I don't like my face in the mirror. 
Oh man. I My wife that. says I'm smiling even when I sleep, you know, take <laughs> siesta or sleep. So no, you know, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, supernatural. Everybody can do it. That's right. I used to be. I've, you know, you know me and we have very humble beginnings both of us and everything and we didn't have all the facilities of life and everything but it's when you make a decision when you reset Right. And you brought it up, Barrio. So talk about that. You know, resetting, and then we'll wrap up. You know, our whole interview. Remember, guys. You know, this. If you're listening to this, we are breaking it into maybe two or three parts because I have found not too many people have one hour to listen to one conversation. But you're going to catch that second portion right away after part one, part two, part three with Brother Mario. Yeah. So on the reset side, you know. The, the thing is, we're blessed to have day and night. We're blessed to have to sleep in very many ways. When we sleep is when our body resets. We Maybe some people don't, I was going to say, all people should know this, but maybe some people that haven't heard this, but it's when our body repairs itself. It's like yeah. when you exercise in the gym, you're tearing your muscles down. And when you sleep, your body is going into repair mode. It's repairing itself. On a cellular level, we regenerate our cells. They turn over. And so we become a, we technically... The cells that are in your body weren't the same cells that were there three months ago and six yes. months ago. Yes. They have now been consistently replaced. They duplicate themselves. So we all have a chance to reset. And so many people focus again on their past and they focus on the failures and all these other things. And they and some people will live their whole entire life constantly saying, woe is me. And this happened to me. And they, they live this Basically, it's like a slow suicide is what I call it. You know, they didn't do it right then and there, but they're doing it over a long period of time. And we all have the option. And we can say, well, it's easy for you to say because this person that's saying is 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60. But guess what? You can always have tomorrow. And the, the best time to start is yesterday. And the next best time is right now. I love it. Right? So we all have that option. We all have that option and we get it every day. Our day didn't go perfect. Don't worry. Tomorrow you can reset. Yes. Today didn't go perfect. And guess what? We have hours, we have minutes, we have seconds. This conversation didn't go well. I'm not going to let it ruin my whole entire day. And, and the more you practice it, the easier it gets. And before, you know, in the past, but maybe when somebody cut you off and gave you the middle finger on the road, maybe it'd make you upset for a day or two or three. Mm. Some people live in that for a month. Or yeah. you, we have to make the choice of just like we go and exercise to gain a little bit of muscle or lose a little bit of weight or get some more uh, you know, energy. We have to make the choice to also do the same thing with resetting everything. Don't let things affect you for so long and just learn to reset. It's like I just talked about the, the person driving down the street. Now, I can I can tell you real fast how to reset that like in an instant. What is that person going through? Nobody ever thinks that, but what is yeah. that person going through? How do they know that they didn't just get a call, the most horrible call they've ever had in their life, that somebody, their most dear loved one passed away or is sick or just mm -hmm. had trauma? You know, things happen. Yep. And so we can't, we can't, you know, hold that person fully responsible for that. And, and, and at the end of the day, we can't let it affect us. Yeah. Because... You know, you want to hold that poison in you? No, Literally, you got to let it go. And you just say to them, hey, man, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope what you're ever you're going through is going to get better for you. And, you know, what what else, the way my brain says, what else is there to say? Yeah. I'm going to get angry for what? I'm going to focus on positivity. I'm going to focus on, on love. I'm going to focus on, you know, <laughs> things that can improve me and other people. And that's it. And I'm gonna and then I'm gonna live every day doing that. And that Excellent. at the end of the day Excellent. makes you, me happy and makes you happy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Hi, guys. I hope you really have enjoyed our conversation with Brother Mario, Mario Masmoro, very good friend and just a great confident. We live close by and he's helped me so many ways, so many ways. I really pay gratitude to you, brother. And it's such a pleasure to have you. How can people reach you? Well, first, I want to say same to you, Vinny, because uh, I, I really appreciate your, your friendship and I really uh, appreciate everything, everything that you do for for me and everybody else. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, 
Well, my luckily my last name is not all that common, so if you just Google me, you'll find me. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a pretty, it's it's a bit of a mouthful, but yeah, if you just Google Mario Masamuto, you'll find me. And um, I appreciate the uh, you having me on, and I. Oh no! Thank you, thank you. Many, many, many more. Oh, uh, thank you, bro, uh, Mario. And you know, in 2022, let's do one more, and we'll Absolutely. dig deeper into. I think we all need a lot more, you know, positivity, and we need a lot more resetting. And I think we need to really build, you know, goals and other things, and do it for building wealth for our family, leaving a legacy. And we are the only species, you know, spe- I don't know what what the word is, you know, who can think and plan and do better. So why not? Why not? You know, this is a, a just like you said, it's a gift of life. That's right. It's a life that you know comes to very few people in the world, exactly. eight billion people or something, right? You know, but look at how many other animals and other species are there. They might be in trillions. I, I'm not sure, but we have a very, very, very beautiful life, and we can make a difference in everybody around us right. and our life and enrich. our legacy leave something significant behind right. as we get heavenly aboard so thank you so much for joining brother and all of you and the sisters and please subscribe to you know vinny chopra's uh, this apartment syndication made easy we bring a lot of great guests remember on friday coming up day after oh on friday at 9:30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 Eastern. I also do the show, Vinny and Bo Show. And I know Brother Mario and I were going to do one too. Maybe we should look into it and do it on our platform Restream. You know, start that way, Mario. You know, I know we were trying to do podcasts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could do it restream and let's see, you know, where it goes. Sounds That'll good. be amazing. So thanks again for joining. Give us five star reviews, written reviews, or five star high five. Subscribe, share this, comment, and uh, you know, thank you for spending the time with us today. We appreciate you. See you in the next episode, and thank you so much. Bye bye.